He just he explained to me that your car was rigged with some of the most. I mean, we're talking about two thousand and one, two thousand two, like some of the most cutting edge equipment that would able you to dodge any sort of flash that would be going on in the motorway. Would we be Those in the, were the days? <laughs> yeah, there were these devices that you could get. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Finn. We're running? Yeah, we running. are running. We are running on full bar. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast. Central London essential as you need to be, live and direct. Uh, be shout to graffitikings.co.uk and uh, hold tight to all the regulars. If you're uh, on the television app, you know what it is. You know what time it is. Sporting art, free download, iPhone, Android. Inside the house, oh my God. Yeah, it's a late one. It's late at night, but it'll be your morning by the time you check this out. 360, cartoons, records. Black Market Records, the DJ, the man, the myth, the happiest man and the nicest bloke on the planet, Nicky Black Market. <laughs> Great to be here. Great to be here. How's that? Wicked. Well, I was going to come here for, for a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made it. Yeah, you did. You made it. You made it. You're a busy man, man. Even on lockdown, it's like you can't pin you down, man. It, 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 it's been, um, I, must, I must admit, lockdown's been kind of different. Mm. It's been different and I've been busy again, but now... Coming back to it, it's gone bonkers. <laughs> yeah. But you were really, really on it. Like like I was saying before we started, but I was just a little chat, of course. Um, yeah, you were doing the live stream stuff, keeping Matt busy and seeing almost seeing you in a in a in a more upfront and personal light. Projecting from live stream as opposed to there he is up there, banging out the tunes, you know, there was a more yeah, one. Yeah, more I honest mean it's thing. especially like um with the whole Zoom dance thing where mm. you've got people with their little windows, you know, you've got all the little windows that, you know, they're dancing in their front room and they mm. could see, and, it, and and that's kind of a personal one, yeah. you know, which, you know, they're dancing in their living room in their kitchen or the thing and you can actually see them, mm. you know, and then you're talking to them and, and they're talking to you or whatever and it's, oh, you know, and then they have uh, breakout rooms where you just sit and have a little chat with them mm. and, you know, it's, it, it, and it's nice as well because you're giving something back to the people, mm. you know, that, that we are their escapism. Yeah. We are their escapism, so. Really helped them yeah, through big time. a crazy yeah. time. Yeah, big time. But it's, um, and it, it's so good to be back now though. Mm. It's just, it's just gone bang. Yeah, bonkers bang. <laughs> it's gone proper bonkers. Because you know what yeah. it is, like, I mean, he, you're on the way, he's on the way to a rave now, you see. And uh, it's almost like there's a combination of people pent up ready to go out raving combined with a backup of gigs that didn't make it over the oh, finishing see, line this, last year. Yeah, this, this right now is crazy because you've got a real backlog. You've got a real traffic jam where you've got so many gigs going. But I, I, don't, I really don't think it, it really... There's nothing to worry about because everybody wants to go out and party yeah, now. Yeah, it's like, anyway. <laughs> everybody wants to go out and party. Yeah. Um, I don't think people really worry about, um, oh, this gig's next to this one. And, you know, a lot of the promoters, are, are, some are worried about that kind of mm. thing. But um, deep down, I don't think they have to be worried. Everyone wants to just go out and have mm. a party. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Nicky Black Market is a name you can trust in drum and bass. And you've been around... As a name, uh, uh, I've Let never... me stop you there. Let Go me on. just stop you Please there. Please do. I just thought about something. <laughs> Go on. Now, I don't know, not all the punters out there know, but we had a group together, right? <laughs> Give me we some. had a group yeah, together. We had right. like a, 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 I mean, a super group together. Mm. You, me, Rodney P, yeah. plus one. Jungle drummer. Jungle drummer. That's right. And, and, and I'm not being funny. I think... I mean, what year was this? What We're year? talking 2003, 2002? Yeah, uh, very early 2000s. Yeah. And the thing is, I think we were way ahead of our time Bingo. at that thing. 100%. I just think mm. if we... I mean, it was it would have been so hard to really carry on and, and, and do that thing because mm. we were all individually doing our own thing. Yeah. But if we carried that on... God knows where we'd be with that right now. It'd be like, be like SAS Part 2 where you've got, like, <laughs> us lot showing up rigged, innit? it? 
mad. I'm just thinking, we were way ahead of our time for that thing. So Especially the, we're all doing our yeah, own little thing we anyway. Should, we should explain about this. So Nicky yeah. and Plus One were the DJs. Plus One being from the Scratch Perverts, world champion Scratch DJ versus alongside one of the finest in drum and bass uh, DJs. And then you had Jungle Drummer on the drums who had the electronic drum kit and he was caning the drums over top of it. And there'd be me hyping and beatboxing over top of it. And then there'd be Rodney doing the Rodney swag kind of... To almost orchestrating, telling people what's going on yeah. as it's happening. Yeah, wasn't it? I, I just, just completely. I, nothing was like it. It weren't nothing like it. I was so thinking I just about think this today. We, that's what, and I just think if we actually carried that on, God knows where we'd, we'd have been with that. In a way, I was like, why didn't we? I know, a little bit. <laughs> but we all get into these um, pockets, don't we? You know, at its time, and again, a name you can depend on, Nicky Black Market. I mean, you, I remember this was of a time where you, and I'm sure it is the case now, you, four gigs in an evening, no problem. I, Done. I, did, I did Saturday <laughs> just gone, I did five. I did five. I, I started, and, and um, I started in the New Order Festival to do with Epidemic in Chelmsford, and I did a back to back with my daughter Millie. A whole which Mills, was great. Right? Yeah. Yeah, um, I met her the other day yeah. at the, the THC. Yes, she THC, said, she yeah. said, yeah. And she started DJing now. That was a big, first big festival mm -hmm. on Saturday. And the place went mad. And she's got such a response from that festival. It, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just chuffed. Yeah, you're made I'm up. I'm just so chuffed. <laughs> so I, I did that. Then went over to um, Coventry to do a 360 set with Profile and Fat Man D for our 360 showcase. That was Coventry. Then went up to Leicester for... Um, I need a map on this. It's going to go. <laughs> 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 then went up to Leicester for genetics mm. for old school guy. That I played for Mark uh, genetics up in Leicester, music cafe, music box. Then went over to Bristol for the Black Swan. Well, so what time in, was this? This was because um, I started in the afternoon. Mm. So this was now Bristol was two to three. Yeah, in the morning. And they were having it. They were having it in there. You know the Black Swan. Yeah, of course. You know, wicked venue in Bristol. Blinding, I mean, yeah. Bristol's got its own thing it's going on. It's a whole other It's world. great. It's great. Everything. And then from there, we finished off in uh, Brixton uh, Electric. Lots nice. of fridge um, electric for x Man's birthday bash where I did a back-to-back -back with Remark and the Ragged Twins. Uh, so that finished it off wickedly. Five in one night in one... Session, incredible. A few yeah. questions. Right, first of all, right, as a as a drum bass DJ being faced with five gigs a night, right, how die, how much do you have to think ahead about the dynamics of each set? Or is there a few... You've been doing it forever, right? So there must be, like, some formulas that you've it got. It really depends on, like, what kind of thing it is, who, it, who I'm playing to, everything. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So you, you just go in and might go in blind or, you know, obviously... Our 360 thing, we got a little thing going on that what we do, mm -hmm. our little collab thing that we do. Um, but it really depends who I'm playing for and what I'm doing. Mm. You know, like um, finish off the night, I did back to back remark, kind of a bit more, a bit more jungly, mm. a bit more, you know. So really, it's it, it I just go in and just just visual, just to see mm. what, what it's like, mm. who I'm playing to, what people look at them, mm. and and judge it, you know? It's kind of like a guitarist when they, they're freestyling a riff or something and they're gauging the, what the rest of the band are doing. It's, it's that kind it. of thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that, that is it. That's basically it. Freestyling it, yeah. I wouldn't say it's regimental or, you know, I wouldn't mm. say it's... So I'd say freestyling it. <laughs> freestyling is amazing. That's the mastery of Selector, isn't it? Yeah, big time, yeah. Um, Trip says, big up. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah, MC Brilliant. Trip. Big up my boy, MC Trip. Oh, wicked. He was privy to a few instances of going on Roverview, and uh, he just, he explained to me that your car was rigged with some of the most... I mean, we're talking about 2001, 2002, like some of the most cutting-edge equipment that would enable you to dodge any sort of flash <laughs> that would be going on in the motorway. Would we be Those in the... Those were the days, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say it as it was. I mean, back in the day, 
We all used to speed, mm. right? That's mm. what we did. You cannot do that now. No. You just can't. It's impossible to do that. <laughs> but regular that doing, shit. regular doing. A, I'll never do it anymore. But we were regular doing one forties. You know, well, I'm, you know, but that's what that's how it was. That's what we did. Um, there were these devices that you could get mm. <laughs> for driving that. Uh, Put you under the radar, and it was it was okay, you know. But <laughs> you know that on Mario Kart when you go ghost mode, that was pretty much what you were doing, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, won't, I won't say too much yeah, about okay, it, but okay, yeah, yeah. it was uh, they they were fun times, mad times, but fun times, mm, yeah. Mm. Fantastic. I was wondering as you were talking about your journeys, I thought to myself, have you ever like had a fan? be in the company of you for like one evening of solid back-to-back gig rotation. I wonder how they would perceive the behind the curtains aspect of being you for a whole evening and being caddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. could be like I mean, something amazing. Yeah, I mean, I've had loads of people come out and come, you know, and, and, and some of them before the end of the night, they're asleep in the car. <laughs> they don't realise that it's, um, you know, it, it is... It is relentless, mm. and it and it can be hardcore, mm. you know. But um, you know, if you, the way I do it is, you psych yourself up. You got to psych yourself up mm. to, to to do those kind of journeys, mm. you know. But um, it, it's it's fun. I wouldn't, oh, I, you know. I'm I'm I am living the dream. You I'm living the dream. You love it. I've never met a man who loves it so much, Nicky Black Market. I, no, I it's absolutely infectious. love. Yeah, no, it's wicked because um, even from the, from you know when I used to be when I used to run the shop, right? Yeah. I used to be in the shop. I used to have my diary. I used to have um, my my black file of facts. I used to map out where we're going, mm. and and even that just the whole thing of that was exciting. Mm. Just to. Where you got A to B, B to C, C to D, you know, mm. the whole thing, exciting. You had like, I mean, let's get into the shop for a bit because this is yeah. this is kind of like the the anchor of an institution. Oh, it's like a flag, flagship for the scene, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I had the shop for nearly, nearly 24 years, maybe, 23, 24 years, nearly had the shop. I guess in 20 plus, yeah. And it's... And it's not five minutes. Do you know what I mean? I'd be lying to say if I if I didn't miss it now. Do you know what I mean? But um, what do you miss most about it? Ev- everything, the day to day runnings. Um, you know, my life's different now. I I, I live in the countryside, and um, you know, I, I I do a lot with the family, and it's. Uh, but I mean, back then was it was crazy times. It was uh, the, especially. Um, I would have never thought that when I, you know, when I went in the shop, I would have never have thought that, yeah, you'll you'll be in there for such a duration or this thing. I'm still going to be playing years down the line. Mm. I'm still going to be doing what I'm what I love doing and how I'm doing it, and it, it's just incredible. And the journey's still still here. <laughs> it's it's mad because you were the you and hold tight Ray as well. Hold tight everybody that was that that in that. Beautiful I spoke to Ray earlier, actually. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. That's yeah, my he's guy. good. Hold tight, Ray. Um, yeah, uh, it feels like not only were you supplying, you were, you were, you were testing the records too, big time. Yeah, I mean, before anyone would get them, we'd we'd have them or we'd we'd cut an, an acetate. Mm-hmm. You know, we'd cut an acetate and try and and try it out before anybody gets it and people would come in you know or they'd come in with let's say someone would come in and they'd have a run of like 300 they'd they'd press mm. 300 mm. records they'd press 300 white labels and they said what do you think of this play it and I'd go boy this one's going to this one's going to smash so I'd have to go right put my thinking cap on right I'll tell you what we'll take the lot <laughs> we'll take the lot. Um, give us a week. We'll sort you out the money. You know. So wow. Yeah. So we'd be. You know. Like we'd have to be confident in in doing that. But mm. um, 
those kind of mm. styles and, and dealings is how we've made it, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it's great because then we'd we'd have that, you know, and then they'd say, right, yeah, could you give it out to the DJs? And we'd start the 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 promo run. We'd start the, the like the mail out from the shop. So you do the mail outs from yeah, the shop too. Yeah, so we'd give out the DJ, all the DJs would come in, and we'd we'd give out to the to, oh, to the top boys and yeah. Have you ever? Actually, this could be a bit spicy. Have you had your bets on like a big run of records? And you think to yourself, shit, I think I've made a mistake. There's well, a lot I mean, I've got to sell like, here. I mean, one, one, I mean, <laughs> when, when we got Deep Blue Helicopter, mm -hmm. when we got that in, we got so many. We got so many. I'm thinking, we ain't got nowhere to actually store them. We got nowhere to get? store them. How many I can't remember what we got. Like, silly. A thousand. They're probably or, still there now. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the thing. You see, so all on the stairs and just everywhere. I think, shit, we ain't got nowhere to put them. We ain't got nowhere to store them. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, they got to go quick because we ain't got nowhere to store them. My partner, Dave Bichoni, at the time, he'd be like, get, go get rid of them, go get rid of them. So it, within a space, it must have been about four days, not even a week, like four days, they're gone. All but gone. What? Get on the phone to get some more. All gone, we have to wait for a repress. They're gone. Quick. Yeah, they're gone. So... When you think about it, it's just it, it's hard to hard to think. You know, when you, when you think, okay, they're going to go, but how long how long are you going to have them? They're going to mm. be sitting around for a bit, but no, gone. And if you gone. go into, I remember very very vividly. Actually, not really vividly at all. I remember walking into the shop, and it's like you're there for business. You're there. I'm there to find the best. I'm there to hear the best. If you hit, you walk in and you hear it, you know it's the one that is. That's been so yeah, I that's mean, that's one. what we wanted to sort everybody out. Yeah. People would come in from the other side of the country, uh, people coming from the other side of the world, mm. especially the bank holidays. We'd always see, like, a bank holiday, you'd see Japanese coming in from Tokyo, Tokyo. you'd wow. see the, the Canadians and Americans coming in from the west side. They'd all come in on the bank holiday. You would see them coming in on a bank holiday. And we just used to sort them out. We used to go with big... Big fat piles like this, going home with big fat piles, Whoa. and uh, it's just a nice feeling, satisfying that you, you're looking after yeah. these people and you're sorting them out, and they're going back and they're creating their own little scenes, yeah. own little pockets of scenes all over the world. It's great. So, That's my award and reward is looking after people and supply and demand. Being yeah. the being the shopkeeper in in the, at its at its rawest. Terminology, yeah. you're doing it, you know. It, it, it's, you know, and, and it, I mean, this cracks me up because you had all the the, the, the A&Rs from all the, the majors, right, coming in and saying, what's hot, what's not? It's, boy, ain't that your job? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Why I mean? Why you coming, man? <laughs> <laughs> so, thinking. you know, they'd come in and, 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 and you know, they'd take loads of tunes because mm. they'd want to hear, oh, what ones are, you know, but at the end of the day, that's up to them who, what they think is mm. hot. And and what's not, you know what I mean? Mm. It's up to them. So they'd have to find them for themselves. But mm. um, yeah, I mean, it was it was the flagship for the scene in in every way, shape, or form. Yeah, you know, so guttural. So from the ground, it was yeah. you were servicing. In this day and age, where the marketing of things, we're going to get deep now, right? But I'm more curious from a. But as much a personal point of view and, mm. and you know, just as your professional opinion would, yeah. would count in the circumstance like this. In a world where um, it is very direct to consumer, like you were saying about the Zooms, you were there face to face. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, that must have taken it back to the shopkeeper level of communication. Kind of, yeah, because they come in the shop, they're right here, mm. right, we got, this is what we got for you, mm. you know, and... They would come in, someone would come, people would come and see me, someone would come and see Ray, someone would come and see Clarky, someone would go and see Ash, mm. someone would go and see uh, Crazy Legs, someone would go and see Miss Pink, and, and, and someone would see Profile. Individually, they'd come in and see their own people, That's you so know, good. that whatever they want, or they'd come and see me for a certain style, or they'd go and see someone else, or whatever. Mm. You know, that is upfront and personal. Yes. Can't get any more thing than that. That's Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, the the shop was was incredible. It was incredible mm. times, and it was like a, we're never going to see. You know, okay, there's there, 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 you know, there's a vinyl thing coming back. It's but it's very much a niche. Mm -hmm. It's very much a niche now. But um, 
those those days are golden. It mm. was a golden era. Mm. Yeah. And I'm I'm playing. It's funny. Funny enough, I'm playing a vinyl set tonight, which is crazy. Wow! I'm actually playing a vinyl set in Tottenham tonight. Next week, I've got. Um, I'm doing a, a vinyl set with Ray. Believe it or not, we're doing a we're doing a thing together. Where's that? In um, it's in Chel um, Chelmsford, I think. It you is. ain't gonna be watching because this is gonna be later. But you're gonna miss it if you hadn't seen it. You've missed it, so you're missing out. <laughs> Again, it's just it's it's testament to to your character and total and utter drive that it's your the levels that you go how were you doing that with a shop as well at the same time I, right you know this is see this is the thing so we i do might do three parties hmm. i probably might not even go to sleep I just go home have a shower and then go back in the shop work all day and then do the same again that next night so there ain't no there's n there ain't no drinking, smoking, or doing anything else because you ain't got no time to do that. No, no, no. I, I never had no time. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I like to have a little bevy, but you can't be doing that when you're mm. you're, you're burning the candle at both ends, mm. and then you 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 know. Mm. So the music was driving me, mm. big time. Did it serve you right though? Because you haven't been. I've never heard of you being lashed or being like no. you're like you've always been like that. Yeah, I don't like. I said, don't get me wrong. I like to have a little bevy, but. It's very, very seldom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the music. The music keeps you going. It's right? all about the music. Yeah. Oh man. So you take notes from this, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you're looking at someone a testament to the proven sport. You know. What? What was your thoughts when your daughter got into DJing? And was that some some sort of like? Was it like a a a, a dream of was that was that something I, she. she yeah, my eldest Millie, she she just I want to do this. She says I want to do this, and the thing is, um, she didn't start with programs. I mean, she she's playing obviously on the digital, but she started mixing with her ear. So you know, not the programs. She's wicked, and and it's like playing records when you're mm -hmm. doing that. So she's got a next sense as such, you know. But yeah, I'm well chuffed. Mm. I'm well chuffed about that. Mm. Wicked. <laughs> That to be a, I guess that to be a cut off point once you've, once you finished with the the shop. Why did it close down, Bo? Actually, it I ca I actually came out of there about a year and a bit before it closed down. Mm. So I mean, look, all good things come to an end. Yeah. Um, the vinyls they weren't they weren't selling really anymore, and you know it's like I said, I came out of it a, about a year and a, a bit. I moved west, mm. and. Um, all good things come to an end, which, yeah. you know, is one of them things. But, I mean, I, what I did want to say was I wanted to talk about when everything started to turn digital. That was really hard for me. Oh, that explain. Was, what, the transfer of that? Yeah, because, uh, you know, one minute I'm, I'm playing records. I turned. I remember turning up to some gig in, I um, can't remember what year it was, but I remember turning up to a, a gig in Maidstone quite a big gig and the resident guy was on and I looked and I said I said Where, where's your decks and he said to me where's your CDs and I'm like what <laughs> what <laughs> what are you talking about we are failing to communicate here <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> and I was like nah what's going on so there was a, a misinterpretation the manageress didn't see the attachment with the the rider, yeah. the tech rider, and she didn't open it up. So there was just CDs there. So I've gone like, what do you want to do then? Like, so I've started walking off. Everyone sees me. I thought I was going to cause a riot. Oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. we, you can't leave here. What are you doing? So um, next thing is um, um, they had to go and get decks. So I had to wait. Another, I can't remember how long, half an hour there to go and pull decks from somewhere. about five cups of tea. <laughs> about, five? about five? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I had to wait for them to go and get decks from somebody's house or something. Yeah, wow. it's crazy. But then that that really, to me, was like, that was a wake-up call. Like, what, is, this, is, this, is, is this the way it's going to mm. go? Because, and... Um, you know, I must admit, I struggled at, um, at the beginning because I think, how can I do this? Is not this from something a completely alien. I feel you, yeah. But then you look back on it now and I think it's just another format. That's the way you got to look at it now. 
it's just another four. Mm. But at that point there, it was like, oh, yeah. wow, what, what, how am I going to do this? Uh, no, Serato. So no, Serato wasn't a, a consideration. Obviously, they didn't have decks, they didn't have decks. Yeah, but... I mean, it's the thing is, I was going to go that way. And then I thought, no, because industry standard is the... the, the Pioneers, CJJs. Pioneers, mm. that's the industry standard. Yeah. So I thought, especially the amount of gigs I do, mm. it's, it's like... And it can change them. each yeah. time. Yeah. You don't want yeah. to be that guy. No, no. So mm. I just went the, the, the pioneer way. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? But, but, you know, it's something, again... As humans, we adapt. Yeah, we've got to. We it's either adapt or die. Mm. We've got to adapt. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, you've got to. Just when you think you've cracked a code, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm sailing now. I've got it figured out." Then all of a sudden, something else comes in, and you've almost got to be just prepared for the the inevitable of change, don't you? Yeah. yeah and you know, it's it's just one of them things, but. Um, uh, I love, I love it anyway. I love, I love it all. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Talk to me about your favourite MCs. Cool, this could be spicy. Oh, gosh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, um, this could get a bit spicy. <laughs> I mean, you know, Stevie Hyper, God rest his oh, soul. Rest in peace. He, he, is, he, he he's, That's a misperson. He, you know, he goes... To, you know, he goes down in history. I mean, mm. the, the, the the week... Um, the week before he passed away, we was in um, Toronto. We was in Toronto. We played at, I'll never forget, this massive gig called Liquid Adrenaline. And it's uh, it was run by a house DJ. He's a house DJ now called Heteras. You know Heteras? Oh, no, no. Yeah. And um, it was, uh, I think it was him and his, uh, some of his family that, that run the gig. Massive, massive indoor, like, big warehouse thing. Because Toronto in... Um, Back in the nineties, was like they were having it large with with, with jungle, jungle. Yeah, for bass. sure. Were, it was it was like it was like you, um, to me. I think it was like eighty nine, ninety. The acid house thing here. It, that's what the jungle thing over oh. there. You know, but they've been into the jungle thing from dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, I remember um, we we just absolutely. You could get the you can get the set on the internet. Liquid adrenaline, look out for that. Liquid adrenaline. Liquid adrenaline. And um, I remember Stevie, God rest his soul, coming off the set and he just literally rang his t shirt. What's look look at this? And he rang his t it was so hot in there. Oh, God, it was so, so hot. But um yeah, I mean that was um that was that was a good yeah. that was a thing. I think that was a yeah, wicked set. Mad. Was that one of the last gigs he did? That that um, that the week before he passed. So then he did. Uh, it was um, Atomics in Maidstone and Camden Pally, mm. and then he passed away that next morning. Mm. Yeah, Mad. I mean his legacy is vast. It's yeah, vast. I mean it's you. You look at it. You know, at the time of when he was MC, and he's like, you know, he was repertaging with the crowd. He was getting them to sing back. Mm. You know, it's, <laughs> that's all that time ago. Mm. It's all, all of a sudden become the prototype for MCs moving forward. Yeah, yeah, he set he set the thing. Yeah, I always think of you guys together. I think I've seen a lot of nostalgic throwback videos, but I certainly do the, as a pairing with yeah. you guys. Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, and I mean now we've got um, we we got our three hundred and sixty showcase with Fat Man D and Profile. Mm -hmm. We got a little thing going on there. Uh, like I said, like um, the weekend we did Coventry, uh, and then we got our we got our own party coming up um, in there too in Bristol. That's on oh, the twenty yeah, ninth Sunday, the twenty ninth. Yeah. Wow. A big one, and there's, wow. a, there's a massive lineup on that. So, really? yeah, you check the Facebook page, check uh, 360 uh, Facebook page, and then uh, mm. run through the lineup on no there. No games, the 360, yeah. but there's cartoons as well. All these different. Yeah, cartoons is uh, we run to. Yeah, I'm just running it digitally at the moment, but we're up to 30. What are we up to now? 33. 33. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, so wow, consistent. Yeah, 
yeah. Like I say, I still love doing the whole thing, so... Dude, did you ever think... I mean, I'm just watching your mannerisms and your passion. Did you ever think in 2021, Nicky Black Market, you know, the shop's gone or you've moved to... Yeah. You know, you've moved out. Yeah, I mean, it's, again... All these things must have been yeah, a consideration. Of course, you know, like, like I said, with the... When uh, went into digital, big question mark. You know, when I moved out west, big question mark. Mm. But you have to break down them doors. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You have to break down them doors and it's like... um it's like anything, mm. do you know what I mean? But you have to be one one constant thing. You have to be is positive. Mm. You have to be and believe in yourself. Is that the biggest secret you think? F- because a lot of you know a lot of people. It doesn't matter what age you are. The patience thing. People don't have a lot of patience for stuff. Mm. Do you think that is it's as a ma- big thing? It's a big thing, yeah, isn't it? It's a big thing. Why it's do you think that is massive? Right? It's like I mean, people come to me and ask me my advice and and. You know, and I, and I just say to them, I said, look, let me t- let me tell you this. You might not make it in the music, the genre of music that you're in right now, but you might become a pioneer of something else that you go and create, you help, help create. That's right. You know, and that is a big thing. It's because there weren't no jungle drum and bass when I was started playing music. Do you know what I mean? True, 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 so true. it's, that to me is, that's the, mm. the key. That's the key. Mm. That's the key, though. Um, when you when you find that taste maker line, lane of of goodness, where you do, like you say, you do pioneer something, you inevitably find yourself in that space on someone's record collection that they never thought they needed. You become that individual that makes a that's, difference. That's when you're like, boom. You're going on the next path. You're mm. you're 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 creative. You're being creative, mm. and you you the bing the light bulb's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Without it, you just become the same as everyone else, don't you? It, I I think you have to have that 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 spark that you know. Like I said, uh, my award and reward is helping people. Mm. Like, even from when I used to be in the shop, people come in, you know, we'd put them together with with certain people, put them in the right direction, Mm. try and put them in the right direction. You know, and that to me, when I see people getting getting on, that's a boost for me. I get a big boost from that. Yeah. That's the ultimate shopkeeper success story, isn't it? To know that you made someone's, you know, contributed a little bit to their day. You've helped them. Mm. You've helped them along their journey. Mm. Can't get any better than that. That's so yeah. sick, Nikki. Yeah. Oh man, goodwill. Nice to be important. More important to be nice. Want another one? Um, that's my mum's motto. God yeah. rest her soul. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's like I remember I I I, I was at an awards ceremony, the Drama Bass Awards. Can't remember what year it was, and I actually I I, I won two awards, mm. and uh, the shop and um, I think uh, Jungle DJ, and it was you know, and I just said that motto. In front of everybody, and the place went mental. <laughs> I just got, I just got, <laughs> I got so, you know, that hair standing on, you know, mm. wicked. I bet you got loads of memories like that, loads and loads of, because you've been part of the scene for so, so long. I mean, you couldn't even do a podcast on it. It would just be like, yeah, you must I'm, have. So I need many to numbers. do. I do need. I, I was going to start a book during lockdown, but I, I, ne- I never did. Mm. But I think I should do a book because just. Mm. Coming from shopkeeper and DJ, mm. just both sides. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you should really make a book, man. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Come really on, give us your favourite story before we cut this thing up. What? Give me your favourite favourite story that you remember that you'd rarely recite, but you knew that this was ah. Uh, you know what? This is a great story. Oh gosh. Yeah, no <laughs> pressure's on. <laughs> So I could edit. <laughs> at the time, um, you can sing something of. You, know, oh, you got me there. On tour. Oh, some, on tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, look, I like a, I like a good cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I remember going to uh, where was it? Um, where was it again? I think it was Czech Republic, and um, it was early one morning, and um, I come back to the airport. I had barely any sleep, but. I really wanted a cup of tea. Cup of tea perks me up, mm-hmm. you know. And we do. And I, I sat down at the cafe. I said, please can I have a cup of tea? So they give me a cup of water and the tea bag on the side. And I'm thinking, 
no, suspect. No, this is not. This is not. I'm sorry. I'm not in this. Mm. So I let's say raised my voice, but I said, no, no, look, this is no good. And I, I don't think they understood me. So mm. I think uh, I was being rude or whatever. So I said, no, look, I'm not having this. Look, and I threw it back like that. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> like this. And the next mm. thing is, I said, go and get the manager. Go and get the manager. So mm. next thing is, the manager comes, but the manager comes with the police. Uh, and they're armed. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, do you know what? I better calm down now because I'm not even going to be able to go home. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I was going home. I thought I was going on to another another place, like to tour. No, don't and, shoot me, don't shoot me. <laughs> but when I see the armed, the, well, there were police, but they were armed, uh, armed police. When I see them turn up with the guns, I was like, you know what? Yeah. Loud the tea, yeah? <laughs> yeah I'll right. have a tea later. I'll yeah, have a tea later yeah, yeah. on. <laughs> Don't shoot me over PG tips, man. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? Yo. I mean this is the thing, isn't it? They don't do teas properly in, in Europe. No. They it has it. to be they have to be specialised mm. if they're gonna do that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's best to bring Bring your own tea bags, I think. Do you take your own tea bags in I backstage? Do. do you? I do normally. Oh, if, if I'm if I'm abroad, yeah. Do you? If I'm abroad, yeah, yeah. What's the what's the rider consist of at the moment for Nicky Black Market backstage? Um, <laughs> hobnobs. His, yeah, his, his silence speaks volumes. <laughs> hobnobs. Yeah. Um, either Yorkshire or PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, really. Um. And um, a bottle of champers that I take home with me. Very cool for the yeah. family, you see? Yeah. That's right. That's it. Yeah. What's the most extravagant? I mean, now I'm on a quick QA, really. What's the most extravagant uh, um, uh, rider you've seen anyone have? Who's got the most, who's got the most comp complimentous on their rider that you've known? Um, don't really know. I, I, I have seen. I have seen some weirdy ones. Mm. I don't want to say who or anything. <laughs> not re not drum and bass people, but um, mm. I've seen like um, um, like uh, like thousands of these gobstoppers sweet things. Yeah, but like loads. Yeah, and I'm thinking, what's that? And they've yeah. said, oh, it's for so and so. I'm like, Why do mm. they want that? What mm. what is the uh, what what are they going to do with them? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I've seen like I've seen like cigars. I've seen Dom Perignon and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. You see the more regal stuff, almost like challenging the promoter to see how far they yeah. can stretch them. Almost, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I, but I, you know, it's I, I, you know, I don't want to go too far. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know. Well, you're an upstanding I'm man of the, of the community, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's why people. That's why you're so consistent with gigs, isn't it? It's because you're 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 reliable. You're you know. That's what it's all about. Yeah. I'm giving yeah. you flowers, man. I think you're fucking awesome. Big up the man, like Nicky Black Market. Any shout outs you want to give before we duck out so you can go and do your gig? Um, shout out to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and we're, we're, we're out there again. Thank God lockdown's gone. Hopefully, never coming back. No more of them, no more of them horrible holidays. Don't want any more of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bit too long, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Great to be out again. Yeah. yeah. Happy camper. The legend, one of my favourite people, Nicky Black Market in the place. Big Wicked. up my brother. Wicked. Wicked. More, more, more. <laughs> Sharon is carrying, you know what to do. Nicky Black Market told you to. Kill a kind of podcast. Out like in was out of fashion. You stay lucky, people. Right? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure.